All right, <laughs> welcome back, everyone. Um, another late, late night, two o six a.m. here, and uh, gonna do some Caves of Cud. I played it a long time ago. I can't tell you how long ago, but I know it's been over a year because that's how long I've been here and I haven't touched it. So let's say two years ago. Um, I enjoyed it a lot then. It uh, it's got a ton of new versions, and. It's a very cool uh, roguelike. It's very, I hate to say it, but, it, you know, Fallout or something like that, post-apocalyptic wasteland type of deal. Very enjoyable. Has a lot of really cool stuff going for it. So, I don't know. I'm just sitting here. I, I thought I was falling asleep. And for about ten minutes, I was laying in bed. And um, girlfriend was a bit restless uh, in her sleep. I don't know. Dreams or something. So, I was having a little bit of trouble. Just came back here, and I was like, you know what? I still do have half a can of Coke at my desk, and I was like, why not, uh, why not try for it? So, we have two options here. We can be a mutated human, or a true man. And I am far from the kind of person that enjoys playing the uh, vanilla person. So, let's go for a mutant here. Oh, it would help if I clicked on the window. Alright, so we're a mutant. We get one point to augment. Wow, that's rough. What kind of person do we want to be? Oh, okay, no, no, we got 44 points. Oh, well, that's fine then. Um, I think... Ego, potency of your mental mutations. Huh, feel the dominate stuff. Frequency of your mental mutations and hit point regeneration. I like that a lot. Let's get this up actually quite a bit. Okay. So, let's get 20, 22. Oh, I see it's up to two points. Uh, well, whatever. Let's get 20. Hmm. Let's get 20 for this for now. Let's get our ego up as well. Hit point regeneration. Number of hit points. That seems important in a wasteland. I would like our intelligence up. Uh, we're not going to worry about strength, but agility, I feel like we're going to be using range attacks quite a bit. So let's lower our intelligence a little bit here. And we don't know if we're going to have many mental mutations. Um, so let's go ahead and take those down. So we can have one of these at 20. I think we're going to make it ego. So that's looking pretty good. Um, HP of 18. Okay, so each point does give us one there. Let's go ahead and select our mutations. Well, we're going to want some mental mutations because we went that route. Maybe next time we'll go for the uh, sort of super speed, adrenal glanded, melee spike stabbing uh, mutant. That sounds kind of fun. So we can get here. Got 12 points. Uh, disintegration, area around self, damage to organic matter and inorganic matter. Uh, seems a little scary. Cryokinesis, okay. Chills an area. Um, light manipulation. Okay, so we have uh, an ambient light around us, and we can manipulate to shoot as a laser beam. That seems cool. Mental mirror. Reflex tax? Nah. Precognition. Revert to the point in time when you first use this power. What? Oh, that's cool. Psychometry. Oh, psychometry. Uh, construct an identified artifact up to complexity tier 2. 
pyrokinesis. Toast an area with your mind. Seems quite good. Space time vortex. What? Oh man, that seems cool. Stunning force. Um, telepathy, teleportation, time dilation. Um, I mean, these seem good. We might want something protective. Force wall. Nine contiguous squares of mobile force wall. But we can fire missile weapons through. Okay, we're going to take that. And we got one point remaining. See if there's any. Could take night vision. Um, wow, some pretty cool stuff here. Slime glands. You can spit slime. Meh. Thick fur. Heat and cold resistance. I think. Well, hang on. Let's see if we can take something. Uh, a defect here. So, okay, you lack a developed sense of pain. You can only determine your general state of health and not your number of hit points. Well, I like playing that way anyway. So, okay, we can get horns. Uh, cannot wear helmets. No thanks. Heightened hearing. Electromagnetic pulse. Uh, nope. Burring claws. Nope. Okay, you require sunlight instead of food. Oh. Huh. Greatly increases hit point regeneration while outside during the day. Well, that's not too bad. Sleep gas generation. Two-headed, huh? Or wings. All right, well, we're going to go for photosynthetic skin. I think that's kind of cool. So we're kind of like a plant um, light creature. So let's go ahead and continue with that. And our calling, an apostle. Uh, an Arconaut. Hmm. Starts with random junk and artifacts. Not bad. Graveyard, some willpower and stuff like that. Gunslinger seems kind of cool. Um, ideally, we want something more. Such a recycling suit. Hmm. Tinker, Warden, Snake Oiler. Okay, so maybe we want to go for the trade goods guy. Actually, gives us more ego, makes our abilities a little more powerful, and um, we are snake oiler, so we can, uh, you know, trade for stuff. I think that's kind of cool. So we are a plant-like, uh, um, light manipulating, um, all about that light. We got a force wall. We can set things on fire and shoot lasers, and we have no idea what our health is. And we're also we're a crazy merchant. We will be um, Herpes von Derp. I wonder if I can put spaces. I can. And uh, let's see. Alas, <laughs> oh well, we didn't get the read Shakespeare there, but that's all right. So where are we? We're down here. We're just a little at symbol pointed out for you, right, right about that guy. And there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, that's a Mehmet. Years of the desert have taken their toll on his body, but he commands your ear with his voice like few other men. Huh. I don't know if Mehmet's his name, or if he's a Mehmet. It's a zealot of the Six Days Stilt. Oh, okay, that's his name then. Warden Ulrog. Can we talk with T? Nope. Let's talk. Um, ten things you should do when you start play. Okay, hotkeys. 
Hey, look at things. I know that. Interact by pressing space. Live and drink, friend. May you find shade in Joppa. Uh, what can you tell me about Joppa? I don't know what that is. You'd be wise to speak with Elder Urudad. Look for his hut to the north. I'm in search of work. Some critters are eating our water vine. Farouk claims he saw one slinking around a vine patch. Ugly little thing. He says, pale white, eight legs, and ear-splitting wine. I noticed a bit of red dirt in the water vine pool. The same we find in the soil. The nearby cave in the north we call Red Rock. Travel to Red Rock and kill as many of these critters as you can. Bring back the corpse of one, too. Elder Irudad will reward your efforts. I will do as you ask. Um, by all means, always take a quest when you're given one. In one of these games. Um, Alright. Well, C isn't close. Um, oh, space for interact. Right. Let's go ahead and examine these. A table and a chest. Uh... Alright, we're not going to open that. We're going to be a good guy. Um, ain't they wishing the heart to keep pumping? Move long if they do. Okay, warden. Whatever you say. Hello, elder. What can you tell me about the Joppa? Joppa is an oasis hamlet nestled between the eastern reaches of Great Salt Pans and the jungles of Cud. We are a community of water vine farmers. These grooves lie along some of the few tracts of lands enough to grow water on. Um, poison jungles. Cud's most precious treasures and most hideous children lie within the innumerable chrome caverns beneath the scarlet loam. Um, okay. Thanks, Elder. Uh, live, eat, drink, and sleep in peace, or whatever I just said. Important tip. You may the world map by pressing minus on the numpad. Very cool. Let us head to the world map. Or not. Oh, on the numpad. Whoa. Where are we headed here? Where am I? Okay, that's where I am. Uh, look. We are looking for the red rock. You finished step to travel to red rock. 50 experience. Cool. Okay, and that's shale there. And what is that? A goat. No. Okay, so goats are friendly. That's good. Take a sip of the water. You know what, actually? I should have checked if the merchant had anything. But that's okay. Let's head down. So first off, what are you? Seed spitting vine. No thanks. Uh, I believe M it said. So our ambient light is to uh, toggled on. We can toast it. We can laser it. Hmm, let's hit it with a laser, yeah. Oh, we can bind that. Um, sure. Bind that to one. Oh, it's already bound the weight 100. Uh, well, that's fine. Yeah, I don't plan on doing that. Let's toggle toast to two. And force wall to three. So we'll shoot a laser. Awesome. So I think if we just sit and recharge for a while, um, our, our light will eventually recharge. Found some trash, okay. Whoa, what do we... Snapjaw Scavenger hits us. Uh, we took damage. Bam. I would like to pick some of that up. The uh, Iron Dagger, perhaps... Oh, there's another one. Alright, what is uh, loot? Look at things, interact. Maybe space? Okay. So the bark armor we will take, and the iron dagger we'll also take. Furs, awesome, and the short sword. So let's go ahead and check our inventory here. What are we using for armor? We apparently have a woven tunic. Mm hmm. Hmm. 
So it looks like it gives us like two evade. Uh, I'm going to take the furs, I think. Well, it's the same as the bark armor. We'll equip the bark armor. Okay. And we're going to... Nope. We're going to head up here. Is it daytime? How do I tell if it's daytime? 7 a.m., probably. We're going to rest in the sun a little bit here. Okay. Okay, what was that? A seed spitting vine. Uh, get lasered, please. Oh, I didn't kill it. Okay. I already forgot what was force wall. Three. Okay. What's all this stuff here? Web and a cave spider. I'd rather we didn't. Did I kill it? Yeah. Oh no, I didn't. Why well, is not one to die? Where is it? It's still there. All right, let's go ahead and burn it. Oh, sadly, that's not visible anymore. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah, that's right. Well, that felt pretty good. What does the T stand for? I'm not sure. There's like a little T up here. Um. I don't know. Fatigue, maybe. I don't know. Trash. Looks like a light over there. Some kind. Campfire. Hmm. Okay, this is regenerating. Um, a jilted lover. Yeah, no thank you. I'm gonna burn that to death. Just don't want to deal with those. I, they're kind of like the things from Half-Life, as I recall. They kind of sit on walls and they pull you in. Uh, so we have found our way down, but I'd like to just keep exploring. And this built-in um, light source that we generate is awesome. I definitely feel like uh, night vision. Oh, I messed up. Well, let's set everything on fire. Okay. Let's kill the one not on fire. Uh, and again, we'll kill the one not on fire. Okay, we're now we're level two. Awesome. And, uh, we'll shoot him with laser. Can I bash him to death? Not working. Lasers, okay. No worm skull. Okay, get that in the club. Oh, carrying too much to move, seriously? Alright, let's see. Um... Leather armor seems just like two better, no penalty. Take that. Okay, we'll drop the bark armor. Weighs 10 pounds. I should be able to move now. Oh, wow. Okay, water skin. Always take that. Iron mace and studded leather armor. Awesome. Now we gotta drop some stuff, which is okay. Um, honestly. Um, what do we drop? Well, we actually got a lot of water. Oh, right, because we start as the water merchant person. That explains why we're carrying a lot. Okay, well, we're going to drop the, the woven tunic here. Uh, the null worm skull, actually, that's kind of bad. Still carrying too much, okay. Let's go ahead and drop our furs, and, oh man, still. Alright, well, we'll drop the studded leather armor as well. And I'm actually going to go ahead and pick up the furs again, then. Okay, so we're going to head back upstairs. And we're... Yes, we're going to uh, leave, actually. 
going to head back to the village and try and trade a little bit. And if I recall, there's a merchant somewhere. Nope, not here. Should be one. There he is. Tad, the Dromed Merchant. What kind of creature are you? I am a Dromed. Human. Assault Strider. Uh, no, I want to trade with you, though. Uh, tab for trade, sorry. Okay, well. First off, you may have our beautiful furs. They're worth a ton of stuff. We will add that item. And our woven tunic, which we don't want. And high explosive grenade, which we don't want. And we got some empty water skins, which are worth a lot. Okay, so. What do we want? Lead slugs. Yeah, we're going to want all of these. Okay. Shotgun shells. I mean, sure, we'll take all those. Because you never know what we're going to end up getting. Pocketed vest, that's kind of cool. A mask, huh? Some artifacts. I want to know what it is, but uh, for now we're just playing like the mage, so. Quilted shawl, no. Star apple, vine waver. Probably, actually, we don't require food because we just need sunlight. So, Roke on those. Don't need that. Bandages might be good. Oh, that's true. We can sell our weapons. Um, we'll keep the bronze short sword. Why is that expensive? We'll keep the iron dagger. Because it's pretty good, actually. Okay, so we can buy... Oh, we can't buy the revolver. We can buy a musket, though. I will do that. And... Burnt capacitor, microchips, bucklers... I wonder if you can use a buckler and a musket at the same time. Basic toolkit. Sure. Well, we don't know how to use that stuff anyway. I think that's good, actually. Um, yeah, we'll go for offer. Sh he should be happy with that. He has to pony up 11 drams of fresh water. You might trade. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you for all your water, sir. So let's see, how much water do we have? Tons. Alright, we're carrying too much because this water weighs a gazillion. Um, but that's fine. We'll be alright with that. Uh, yeah, we'll investigate the ruins, sure. Alright, so far I'm not seeing anything. Oh, I saw something there. Okay, what's that eye? Nope. Uh, giant dragonfly. Alright, well it's neutral. Uh, let's equip our gun. Equip, and can we equip that as well? Yeah. And do we have to equip these? Jump missile weapon equipped to use that kind of ammunition. Oh, really? Well, that's not good. Uh, so we just equipped our... How do I look at it here? Nine. I guess nine on here. So yeah, our missile weapon here is a musket. And we do not have ammunition for it. That's annoying. I kind of thought... Oh, okay. We did load it with lead slugs. Okay. So I'm not sure why uh, that message popped up before. Let's try firing our gun at it. Missed. Okay. Reload, fire. Reload. Oh, it's dead. Sure. 
Okay, well, just practicing. Whoa, what is that thing? Okay, that's neutral bloated leech. How about bloated on fire? So I'm feeling like. Uh. Okay, it's still alive. And now it's uh, in melee with a uh, laser beam to the face. It's still alive. More laser beams. Just more laser beams. Just wow, 200 experience. Woohoo! That's how you do it. So we got to be careful because this water is probably on fire. Uh, salty water. Yeah, okay, we just took... Oh, we're taking a ton of damage from steam. That's not good. Um, we should just be able to rest here for a ton of time, though. And heal up, because we're in the... Well, um, the sun. Was that a glowfish? Cool. Alright, yeah, so we're back to fine for health. And I assume this is all salt water. Yeah, salt water, blah blah blah. And salt water is not the end of the world, but you know, it's not not great. It's gonna, okay, wow, rifle turret, fine. Yeah, it's 18 damage. Yeah, never, never again. That was terrifying. Gonna try and sit here for a million turns and heal up. All right, let's try setting this on fire. Uh, I'm not sure how much damage that's gonna do to it. To be honest, just wait here while the fire rages on. Okay, we get into level cool. <laughs> Got a ton of stuff for that. A glow pad, huh? Well, can't shoot uh, fire for a while. I just want this glow pad to die because I'm a little scared. All right, we've killed it. Awesome. That's just salty water. Okay, well, careful walking through the steam again. Oh! What got me? Oh, no, buy no ape. Alright, hang on. Start field. So, we've created a wall of force surrounding us and this ape. Uh, hopefully it's, it's dying, because we are. We're going to set it a little bit on fire. Okay, let's reload. Oh, it's, it's coming at us. That's bad. Um, Alright, well this might be it. Yeah. We die. Sadly, we did get killed by the bloody... And we had a freeze grenade Mark 1. Who knew? Scored minus 691 points. Uh, but that happened. Uh, we'll go ahead and save that character summary. That, sure, that was interesting. Alright. That wasn't too bad, though. That was a lot of fun. Um, I think I might try this again tomorrow. Uh, sadly, now I am passing out. But I think I might find a little bit of... Um, I wish I had sound effects, honestly, is the only thing I wish. Uh, it doesn't. So maybe I'll find like a little bit of soothing background, ambient music. Uh, maybe some western stuff, actually. I'm in the mood for that recently, so. Um, hmm. I just want to look at humans uh, here. 
So say we went for a uh, you know character that was about uh, shooting guns and building gizmos. Um, take some of this stuff. It's willpower important. Not super. Something like that, maybe. Uh, so they get bonus resist and they start with some stuff. Okay. It's interesting. Uh, I think we'll probably stick with mutants for now uh, because I think mutants are very cool, but. Um, Oh, you just caught me as I was leaving. Sorry, man. <laughs> um, yeah, GG's, and I will uh, catch you guys uh, tomorrow.